So today, a video got posted uh, where I showed you how to fake the size of a flash drive, or really any drive. Uh, make it seem smaller or larger, whatever you want, um, than it actually is. And last week I showed you how to detect these types of drives. There's actually a third part of this video where I showed you a second option on how to do a more thorough test on whether a drive is fake or not by doing a lot of writes to them. Uh, using a um, program called F3, F3 Write and F3 Read. Uh, on my system I'm running Debian SID and the package is called F3 so I just used aptitude or apt-get to install F3. Um, and that's the, you know, the letter F and the letter number 3. Anyway, I uh, did that video because shortly after I made my videos a friend of mine bought a rather large flash drive at a pretty decent price and it seemed a little iffy to me. So he gave it to me and uh, I uh, ran my test on it using um, FDisk and Gparted and it showed that it was okay. It showed that it was really the size that it was saying, but it still seemed too good to be true. So I searched and um, you know there is a tool in Windows called HW something or other. I don't know since I've never used it, but uh, F3 basically does the same three, same thing. Basically, you mount your drive. You use F3 write and point it to the directory where you've mounted your drive, and then it writes a bunch of files to it. And then you do F read, and it reads all the files to make sure that none of them are corrupt. Sure enough, his after the first couple files were corrupt, meaning that either the drive was fake or just really poor quality. And uh, according to most of the reviews on uh, Amazon where he bought it, these files, um, uh, these drives wrote a lot of corrupt files, which usually is, is an indication of the drive not really being the size that it is. And I explained that in a previous video. Problem is I recorded this video on my laptop because I wasn't at home uh, when he came to me with that flash drive. And this was two weeks ago or so. I thought that I copied the files over to my desktop thought that I edited it, thought I uploaded them and scheduled some, them to post, and today it wasn't posted, so I looked through all my files, and I can't find them on my desktop, and just yesterday I deleted the files I had recorded off of my laptop, thinking that I had already put them on my desktop and uploaded them. I, I've been doing a lot of videos getting ready for the new year here, and I guess I just lost track and thought that I edited this video and uploaded and didn't, so I apologize for that. But I do want you to be aware that uh, in today's video I showed you how to um, create a fake flash drive. There's obviously more than one way to do this, and depending on what technique is used to make these fake drives, um, you might need to use different techniques, uh, which might take a little bit longer. The F3, you know, it does a lot of writing, so it, it took many hours um, to test it. Um, so, I just wanted to let you guys know that I apologize for losing those videos. I don't have that flash drive anymore because I told my buddy to contact the seller and request their money back. And, uh, but just be aware that there are more than one ways to fake the size of a flash drive and more than one way to check depending on what type it is. But uh, if you use my technique for creating them, it's very easy, very quick, very simple to detect the real size of the drive using FDisk or Gpart as I showed last week. So I do thank you for your time. Sorry for losing those videos. Uh, I hope that you have a happy new year and I hope that you also have a great day. Have a, have a great year too. How about that? Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.